Well, Barbara Hulinicki's wallpaper was such a success for us in the, the original uh, launch of our wallpaper collection that we thought it would be great to um, get her to do some more products. One of the things that uh, I think across the breadth of designers we work with that's interesting is we have everything from students to very high profile professional designers working and the fact that Barbara Hulinicki was launching her brand around the same time as Terence Conran launched Habitat. It's really quite a nice synergy of how rekindling that and making that contemporary fit uh, so well into our collection. What keeps me designing is the high you get when you're designing. You have no idea how incredible it is. I mean, when, when all these beetles were high on whatever, and I used to say, well, I don't, I don't need this. I, I've got it every day. I went to art school to do fashion design, and then in that period, sort of late 50s, it took you so long to get to a designing stage that I, the, the quick route was to be a fashion illustrator. And I did that for about six, six years, until, until just before we uh, started Bieber. I'm very inspired by Art Nouveau. You know, once you get into a style like Art Nouveau, you just keep keep developing and taking it further. And, and it sort of worked with all the flowy clothes and the uh, sort of uh, crepes and chiffons and the prints. And we always went into shops that, that had the atmosphere of a, a period atmosphere, which we always tried to keep to. But the most inspiring was, was the people who came in and what they did with the clothes which was so exciting. Before we started Bieber, it, it was a pretty dire situation as far as shopping. There's literally, you know, you had money in your hand, but there was nothing to buy. Things started percolating, because you had Carnaby Street, which was generally for, it was men's clothes. But at the same time, there was Mary Quant in uh, Knightsbridge. And then, of course, Terence Conran was a little later. What was amazing about uh, Conran and Habitat is he was very, very minimalistic and very simple and very, very beautiful design. Habitat was wonderful because it was a very forward thinking, whereas we were still sort of trying buying old, uh, old furniture and bits of velvet and bits of toot. Um, after two hectic years at Abing the Road, um, we had uh, Fitz found this amazing old uh, uh, grocery store and we completely fell in love with it. And as we were bursting at the seams in Abingdon Road, um, we, we decided to move, move up here, which was the best thing that ha ever happened to us. It was amazing. That's when all the celebrities came pouring in and uh, it, was, it was a complete hive of activity and uh, we really got our production together and it was, it was one of the most fun shops we, we ever had. This is the old uh, Big Bebo, which was the originally Darien Tom's that we used to pass here every day and I look at it and admire the architectural details and, and I thought one day we're going to get it and then we got the chance to do it. I think with all the Biebers was that we found that if you kept the energy in, a, in four walls things happened on their own. I mean our shop was like a hub where people met and brought their boyfriends in and there was always a space for the boyfriends to sit while they shopped and it was much more of a uh, sort of uh, meeting places and uh, everything was affordable. Anybody could afford it. Habitat had that same sort of um, atmosphere so it was a completely young democratic idea. I think it's terrific to be linked with Habitat now as, as, as a, a poster of the 60s. I did a, a wallpaper the season before and it was very successful. So they called me in and, and, and they just said to me, we'd like to do some 
cushions and carpets and I did a whole spectrum of design and um, everybody always goes back for the Viva play. But it was such fun to work with them, they're really great. <laughs>